Hello everyone and welcome back to Factorio Lazy Bastard Playthrough. Now in the last episode we got Automation Free Gun. Hurrah! Finally! And I've been able to produce loads of oil refineries. Well, loads. I've run out of gear wheels. But we have 30 on me at the moment. And we can probably not put down to fair now. Um, all these flashing things are actually logistic chests, I'm just chucking them down. So I do apologise for the flashing on the screen, but you can see over here I have a small uh, little network already put in place. I've started laying out um, railroad ports quite a f couple of episodes ago, but obviously it's not a full network yet. And I used to have the stone production up here, but I realised I had stone right on the edge here, so it's actually being moved into here. I might have overkilled it on the uh, uh, electric furnaces, but it's working fine. And um, they're just moving the stone down to these blocks. And there's a reason why there's several chests of these, because I'm letting them build the roads. Because I want to get the You Are Doing It Right achievement, which I need to get 53,000 now? I swear that's gone up. Oh, okay, so manually I've done 53,000. That's me putting things down. And then the robots are doing that. So I need to basically set up an entire robo network and let them build everything for me, basically, for that to catch up, because that's our big gap to catch up. Uh, hopefully, roads will do it, because I'm starting to build up roads. Um, so that I can follow them without getting lost in between the trees. Um, oh, cripes. And, yeah, I didn't realise that I ha it was counting my manual drop as well. Hmm. Anyway, so, you can see I got that. So, the only also important thing, I need red circuits going. And, obviously, we need plastics. And plastics are sucks because I haven't got petroleum on going on on mass. So this is where we're going to build our refinery, the oil processing site that's already been marked up, it's ready to go. And we've got the huge land that we used to have at the beginning of the game. And you can see part of the road blueprint up there. I've not been building it myself. Um, this is going to be oil processing. So let's get laying out these guys. Now, I need to blueprint these guys. Uh, blueprint. I need a lot of light bulbs. And so this is what. Um, tank level in. Indicator? Indicator. Save that and export it to the library. Cool, because this. These won't move. This is probably going to be moved. Because we'll need to set up a new station for multiple oil trains to be able to unload and pump it into the bigger refinery we're going to build. Ah. <sighs> Right, so let's get it going. So, probably want it to. I'm going to bring it up a bit. Yeah, this is going to be fine. I need to get pipe, but luckily it's only just across the way. Oh, it's so good to be able to put these guys down now. These are a lot bigger than I remembered for some random reason even though I've got one down there so I'm gonna give myself I need to work out the pipes uh, so what we got here advanced oil processing so that what brings us more petroleum over heavy oil or we can have a steady balance I'm just gonna keep it a steady balance we've got coal litification um, we being partially researched at the moment and we just need to wait on um, 
basically me setting up red circuits because we, we, we need the other stuff that it builds to be able to get that science production done. Uh, so let's go get some pipe which is located up here as well. So there you go, it's just some red circuits just came in because I've got this actual system in place. Very crude making of um, modules. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, let's grab some pipe. Uh, ground pipes, we should be fine. Just watch out for any trains going to run off. Yes, this platform is now out of line. I will uh, move that. And it doesn't, and this one doesn't copy these, which is a shame because I've really badly just stuck it underneath. But it, it fits, it works. Yeah, so we need to pipe down heavy oil. It's going to go there. Petroleum and light oil. Let's see. Patron. So if we pipe like that, and then I know there's a way that you can just set it up and it, it, it fits perfectly, but I'm probably going to get this wrong. to put refineries on the other side which if I'm correct is actually going to have the things flipped the other way <sighs> which is a bummer so what I'll probably do is have it all facing the same way so I can blueprint this and then let the robots build it in a future episode because that's probably and then we can have it multiple over here but how do we get the oil over there? How far do these go? Only up to there. So, and we're gonna have another underground belt there. Belt, uh, pipe. Shit. Um, because we can't do this, for example, because it interferes with that. Unless I bring it from the top. I think that's how it's going to have to be done. Right, let's get over here and uh, let's put gaps in between so that we can actually run between these gaps. Don't want to make it completely inaccessible. And then. Oh, cool, that fits like, like that. Okay, right, let's fill this all in then. Just the crude oil done. That's petroleum nearly done. Right, so now there, I guess. So we've got plenty of room to run around the system. And 
then as I say, we'll blueprint this and then just let the robots do it all. I'll get the power lines in and they don't reach. Oh no. Do. That's our powered. Nice. Let's get some piping from there. And then we can adjust piping for. Well, no, because we need to change the tanks, don't we? Okay, right. So. Let's do something a bit crazy with the size. Again, I will um, I'll blueprint this. And then again, get the robots to do the work later on. Let's just get the initial setup done. Do I have them point outwards at the top? I do. Perfect. So I'll probably leave the station here and I'll expand it out this way and just have multiple trains just be able to pump. Did I line that up perfectly? So good. Kind of. And then we'll want to grab okay, grab the pipe. It's not a big deal. So if we then now detach that and let that continue using all of this. This now can be taken apart and then I'll have the resources to build this. And it automatically will put in the wires for me. Uh, right, which colours which that to there. I do like this little thing. I can change its values, but I don't. Um, yeah, I, I don't understand how this this stuff works, guys. So let's put in a power pole, and then the lights. This should. Wire it up perfectly by itself. Now I need to attach a wire. I do have some wire all the way over here. I had a slight problem. <clears throat> These oil trains have been running for so long in the game that they still have the orders for um, my old coal uh, fuel source and they it's only just run out. That's how long it's been. I can't even remember how long far back that was now. That was hours and hours and hours ago. Um, so yeah, so I have to run up here for fuel. Right, he's going to be able to load, and I presume, yeah, this one's just run out at the same time. Oh, that's perfect. Right, you can have the rest of it. Hopefully, it will uh, manage to get there in time for issues. Right, so let's head back to our oil processing. I've been pumping out the old oil crew tanks. And um, yeah, I'm following this road. 
and the trees are in the way and yeah it still won't work oh, I need to make this road slightly wider as well it's, it's not easy to drive on alright and that's a rock perfect alright that is nearly full already how are we doing for the other tanks though They are not empty yet. Okay. What I would like to do is just cut it off. Let it empty these tanks out into these guys. And yeah, I think I can force it by removing the tanks, but I don't want to risk it. I, I don't know why I've got loads of crude oil available for me. So, so that's ready to hook this up. So... I'm going to put a pump in here. Don't make any difference. It's just either stop anything coming back. Right. There goes all my oil refineries. Let that completely fill out, and hopefully we'll see the uh, the results. Finally, be able to make more oil products. <sighs> uh, that sixty-three is, I think, it's still emptying. There's still a thousand in each chest. They're both. Full. Yeah, that, that should fit it all. But I'm going to let this run for a bit. And then um, I'm going to blueprint this, put the blueprints down, and we'll see how many robo ports we've got. Because how far away from the. Oh, we're pretty far out from the system. To bring it down from here and let them try and build it, and I need to put some bits in the. Um, automation side. So I'm going to do all that and we'll be right back. Alright, the robots have uh, slowly been working and slowly building this. Uh, obviously the road is also in the area so it's probably trying to build that as well. I had it empty out all the chests in the local area and I got rid of all the rubbish that was on me. Uh, oh, that's The auto trash is on, it should be removing those cogs. Ah, it needs to be at zero, I see. Not at max. <laughs> okay, right, let me change all those. I should pull out. All my rubbish and stuff I haven't got yet. Logistics will pull that out of me, dude. And we could. I'll leave this all in here to be honest. This is stuff that I can build with. It also will keep you topped up anyway when I do run in this area. Now, how is Red Circuits doing? They're not getting, still not getting any plastics. It's still running a bit 
short on everything. But in the meantime, I um, set up. So now the train is filling with bats, and it doesn't look like full cargo on it. Recognizes um, that it's full cargo in a filter, but. <laughs> Let's change it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 3,000? Item count equals. That recognizes that, so let's go swing round to that side and come up back over here where electronic furnaces and production modules will be put. And yeah, I'm just waiting for red circuits to be honest to be started. So it's just my oil field to be working. This is a mess and a half, but. It, uh, it works for now. Uh, add weight condition. I do count. Uh, uh, equals. So there's two stacks. So 100. And then the same with the production modules. I think they're stacks of 50. Oh, well, it's going. Loop back and come back for that, please. Thank you. I was just going to wait for the. Uh, <laughs> so, what I could do is put logistic chests on these guys. Because, yeah, it's not gonna. It's not gonna recognize. Run after me, you buggers. There's a little gap there. Which I can't fix. Yeah, the little gap there, they won't actually pick up. But it's not a big deal. I'll take stuff. Thank you. So this is going on quite well. It's uh, filling up nicely. Starting to throw down things. So what's it missing? Is it missing anything? It's missing tanks. Two. Ref How's it missing refineries? There should be like f 300 of them in stock. Yeah, it's like 400. So how's it missing them? Shouldn't be missing them. <sighs> I think it's constructing the. No, it's not constructing the road. Uh, I think I've got the only power poles that I've got left. Logistics. The construction robots are doing. So oh, they're moving all the damn rail, aren't they? That's why. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's plug in. Something running around this. Uh, that's in place. That's in place. I've got my um my port on. 
I was hoping that they would drag resources out. I presume they do. Um, yeah, so that shouldn't be missing. Still missing power poles. Where have I missed a power pole? Two power poles. I think they are. Down here? No, they built that. They're missing pumps, so I'm going to grab those pumps, because that's not actually hooked up yet. Put these in manually. This is pulling the... Um, that needs power. I'm still missing two power poles. I thought I still had some in the logistics system. Did I not tear them? I didn't add them to the thing, did I? So they're over here. Let's uh, drag that out. Still dragging out, we're dragging out advanced circuits still. Obviously, I could use those advanced circuits to be honest and move them about manually for now until we've gotten what we need. We're not allowed any of the special chests, like the requester ones, because of the achievement. So as soon as that's completed, I will um, move it along. How's that doing? How much is there left? Oh, that's nearly done. Oh no, I've got to put a filter on this bugger. This needs to be... Turn I only. Oh yeah, that should filters. Hey, I guess I can shut your butt. Uh, right, so they should be picking up the last, all the piping. Hopefully to uh, finish this off. Some of them have picked up stone because they're going to be building the road. I'm out of tanks, I'm out of tanks. I should have them on production somewhere, I think, on the train section still. Because I've got them to build fluid wagons, so there must be a tank up there. Put that in the system as well, though, can't I? They're saying it's not missing them. They're still missing two power poles. I can't even see where the hell they are. Uh, tanks, tanks, tanks. There they are. And then we'll put you in a logistic chest. And then force you to be only tanks. I won't let it construct too many. So yeah, that's the passive provider, and I've, I've ignored the chest, but it's ready for a later date. And these are the, for the other two, I think. It's eighteen of them. That's going good. Oh, he's going to be dragging out my uh, advanced circuits again. <laughs> stuff hopefully then so we're going to get production science going soon but as soon as my oil has been uh, fully completed I need to find out where these poles are. 
Where are the poles? Definitely. Oh, there's one. I don't see where the last one is. I think they've done a pretty good job. Oh wait, I've missed a pipe down here. So this pipe is for petroleum. And that needs to do that instead. We've got plenty of heavy oil, but that's not actually being processed. I kind of want coal liquefaction because that actually uses heavy oil to produce the others. Uh, I could do it through the chemical plants as well, but we're not at a situation where it's blocked up because of heavy oil. But yeah, no, there's my oil processing. It's uh, expandable. And uh, it will be expanded further at a later time. But for now, we're going to leave it there. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the Lazy Bastard playthrough. Thank you and goodbye.